let us now look at some much more complex problem which introduces a number of new ideas the structure to be considered is a symmetrical portal frame with the three hinges one two three hinges hinges at a c and f this is called a three pinned portal in this portal this load w is placed at d unsymmetrically so we know that this corner b and e is a rigid between the horizontal and vertical members so it can transfer the forces and moments between horizontal and vertical because if these are the rigid joints b and c b and e okay on the other hand this hinge c it would behave like there is no moment transfer only the shear transfer okay so now let us take into the equilibrium principle of equilibrium of moments on the whole structure about any point as we know about any point in the plane if we take the moment for a particular couple that value is constant okay so we will take to this moment let us take moment that f you see this w force this perpendicular distance and this force it will create an anti-clockwise moment to resist that or balance that anti-clockwise moment that should be a clockwise moment that clockwise moment can be in this direction if it is it can be this direction also because this is a perpendicular distance the force that means rea can vary from this to it cannot go like this if it goes like this it's a zero distance so it will not be matching so at least it it, it should be at least some one minimum degree so it can place any angle like this it can be any line let us assume like this it is there okay so it, this is the anti-clockwise uh, sorry clockwise moment which is going to balance the anti-clockwise moment caused by this uh, load w let us now find this angle theta at what angle this force is acting for this let us take this a b c that is the equilibrium of this uh, left hand side of the structure at this point the moment is zero okay like this that means the force here only one force only it is there so this force has to pass through this c then only it will produce zero moment if it is uh, direction of this ra if it is like this it will produce some moment so that is not the correct way because at this point there should be a, a zero moment so it cannot be in this direction if it is like this direction also it will produce the moment some force into distance so it cannot go through this line also that means the force would pass through this line so that is the angle for this uh, force so we can see that this force is passing through this so it is satisfying the moment at zero is uh, moment at c is zero okay so this force we can now resolve into two components like this h a and v a okay this is the frame so we can see because of this uh, force it should come the horizontal force in this direction this is the r a it is passing through this line so we can resolve into two directions this h a should be in this direction because it is going like this right so we have to resolve it like this and like this so since this is like this and f direction it should be opposite direction it should come like this okay that we can see it here so this is how we can see the direction of the all the reaction if we actually how we found out uh, this direction means if we now look at the equilibrium of the structure a b c we realize that the line of uh, reaction force or a must pass through the hinge point c hence there can be no resultant moment about this hinge and there are no other external forces on this structure in this structure there are no other external forces that's why it has to pass through this line to create a uh, zero no resultant moment about this point okay so it is more easily or convenient to separate the reaction or or a into horizontal comp two components horizontal and vertical v a is the vertical component and h a is the horizontal direction v a is the vertical and h a is the horizontal actually now we are we are now in a position to complete the identification of the remaining support reactions namely those that we take moments about support point a 
if we take a sub moment at about support point a uh, to resist this uh, moment due to w that clockwise moment uh, so this is the anti clockwise moment clockwise moment vf is anti clockwise moment so it should be opposite direction vf should be upward direction this w produces uh, like this if you see about moment about here it would come like this so it produces clockwise moment m w at a to resist that this vf should be opposite direction okay actually if it is we can resolve this also the same way this is the force in direction and it should pass through this point then only it can become uh, at this point zero right so you can see this one so this direction we can resolve into two this h of is equal to this one this h of cannot produce any moment uh, about this point a because it is passing through that one so v of it will produce uh, upper direction should be there okay that's why we can see that uh, we now start notice that line of horizontal force such a passes through a and produces zero moment about that point so overall equilibrium demands that there shall be an upper vertical force vf to provide an anti-clockwise moment to balance the count clockwise load about the support hinge a moment of this load clockwise moment of this load a about uh, load w about a so we now may start to draw bending moment diagram clearly okay this horizontal force h a will try to bend the structure like this so moment is coming this way so this is the tension the same way h f it will put the pull the structure like this so tension is on this direction so this is the tension side we are putting it so this is the force so if you go with the distance then the moment also increases okay this is the point where e and this is the point b since this h a and h f it's equal magnitude and this depth also it's equal so this moment at b and e are also equal we have noted that uh, h a acting in the distance from point a on a vertical member such uh, such as these things produces a bending moment in the same way as this vertical force on horizontal member. The same way, like vertical force in horizontal member produces the moment, the same way horizontal force on this column vertical member produces moment. This is how we find out the reactions, and then after that we can find out the moment. We have noted that joints E and B are uh, rigid joints. They have to transfer it can transfer the moments so to be in equilibrium for this moment the whatever the value it is there it should be matching with this one this value it should be matching with this one okay we have noted that these joints at b and e form a rigid connections between the members at these corner points as no external force moments are applied here the bending moments in the horizontal members at the corners must have the same value as the bending moments in the vertical members at these points to maintain the moment equilibrium. To maintain the moment equilibrium, the same values should be present to maintain the moment equilibrium at E and B because these are the rigid joints. Because there are no other external moments are applied here. Only mo moment is this moment. So the same amount of moment should be here so that it will balance. Okay. Now let us take it to other uh, values. Okay, so now we will see here 
our next consideration is with respect to this hinge at this point at all unloaded hinges the bending one has to be zero furthermore there is an no external loading within the length b and c if you see this length b and c there is no external load between b and c there is no external load okay because there is no external loading within the b and c the bending moment can only change linearly so here you understand that if there is no load between two points the bending moment changes linearly from its value b from its value b to zero at c indeed the slope of the diagram will continue if you see the slope of the diagram is continuing 